The first bullet train was introduced in Japan in 1964 and was called the Shinkansen. Bullet trains are high-speed trains that can travel at speeds up to 320 km per hour, 200 miles per hour. The fastest bullet train in the world is the Shanghai Maglev, which can reach speeds of up to 430 km per hour, 267 miles per hour. Bullet trains use electric power, which is more efficient and environmentally friendly than traditional diesel locomotives. In addition to Japan, bullet trains are also used in other countries such as China, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, and Taiwan. The bullet train system in Japan is known for its punctuality, with an average delay time of just 54 seconds. The Tokyo-Osaka route in Japan is the busiest high-speed rail line in the world, carrying more than 151 million passengers annually. The cost of building bullet train lines can be very high, with the Tokyo-Nagoya line in Japan estimated to cost around $50 billion. The technology used in bullet trains has also been adapted for use in other industries, such as magnetic levitation, maglev, trains and wind turbines. The term bullet train comes from the streamlined shape of the train, which resembles a bullet. Bullet trains have several safety features, such as automatic train control systems, anti-derailment devices, and earthquake-resistant designs. Some bullet trains have double-decker cars, allowing for more passengers to be carried per train. The bullet train technology has been continually improving, with newer models offering faster speeds and reduced noise levels. In 2020, the Chinese government unveiled a prototype of a new high-speed maglev train that can reach speeds of up to 600 km per hour, 372 miles per hour. The total length of Japan's bullet train network is over 2,700 km, 1,700 miles, connecting major cities such as Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto. Bullet trains have had a significant impact on the transportation industry, reducing travel times and increasing accessibility between cities. The design of bullet trains is optimized for speed and efficiency, with features such as aerodynamic shapes, lightweight materials, and regenerative braking systems. Some bullet trains offer luxury services, such as first-class cabins, dining cars, and onboard entertainment systems. In addition to passenger trains, there are also bullet trains designed for cargo transportation, allowing for faster and more efficient delivery of goods. The popularity of bullet trains has inspired similar high-speed rail projects in other parts of the world, such as the proposed California High-Speed Rail and the Mumbai Ahmedabad High-Speed Rail in India. The Shinkansen bullet train system in Japan has been in operation for over 50 years and has transported more than 10 billion passengers. The first-generation bullet trains in Japan had a distinctive duckbill nose design, which helped to reduce noise and improve aerodynamics. The fastest commercially operated bullet train in the world is the Fuxinghao CR400 off-BF, which runs on the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway in China and can reach speeds of up to 350 km per hour, 217 miles per hour. Some bullet trains use a technique called tilting technology where the train can lean into curves to maintain speed and reduce lateral forces. The Eurostar bullet train connects London, Paris and Brussels through the Channel Tunnel and can reach speeds of up to 320 km per hour, 200 miles per hour. Bullet trains are not just fast but also comfortable, with features such as spacious seats, Wi-Fi, power outlets, and onboard restrooms. The technology used in bullet trains has inspired other forms of high-speed transportation, such as Hyperloop and Elon Musk's Boring Company Tunnels. In Japan, the bullet train network is owned and operated by several private railway companies, which work together to provide seamless service across the country. The first bullet train service in India, the Vandabhard Express, was launched in 2019 and can travel at speeds of up to 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour. The construction of bullet train lines can create jobs and stimulate economic growth as well as improve connectivity and reduce traffic congestion in urban areas.